Portland is a city of about 67,000 residents, not a large city by national standards, but it is equipped with a variety of service agencies whose specific goals are to transition immigrants into the community. Hope Acts is one of them. The organization provides housing, education, and other resources to help asylum seekers adjust to American life. The organization was founded about six years ago by members of Hope Gateway Church. Program manager Carolyn Graney. The nonprofit operates out of this brick building, donated to the organization. I want to invite and be welcoming to asylum seekers, immigrants in our, in our city. We need them. Richard Berman is a local real estate developer who bought the property and renovated it for Hope Acts. Every one of us has an immigrant story behind us, right? We're a country of immigrants. And I have quite a history of that in my family. One of my relatives, I remember the stories, uh, tried to immigrate to this country and was turned away during the Second World War and wound up dying in a concentration camp. Berman says his family's history has shaped his sensitivity to people fleeing persecution. I think any help is an investment. It isn't a giveaway. We're investing in our community. I mean, we need workers. Uh, we need intelligent people. Um, uh, we're an aging uh, state. Upstairs, Hope House has rooms for 13 asylum seekers. So they're two and three bedroom apartments. They share bathrooms and kitchens and living spaces. So we create a family atmosphere for them and they become community and family for each other. Over the past six years, 65 asylum seekers have called Hope House home. Downstairs in the basement are the office and classrooms. We have an all volunteer staff who teach English classes. Me. They also offer another resource called ASAP, Asylum Seeker Assistance Program. People can walk in off the street from 12 to 3 every afternoon and meet with someone who can help direct them where to go to get answers to their questions, or we can actually sit down and fill out an application with people, read through their mail. Last year alone, the organization helped more than 150 asylum seekers. And the learning opportunities don't end there. I'm passionate of teaching, and I know that by teaching, I learn more. For many immigrants, the next stop is the Portland Adult Education Center. We have 4,000 students every year, about half of them. English is not their primary language. Bridget Kahn is a teacher and project coordinator. PAE offers a wide range of courses, from high school equivalency to English, and a program designed for foreign-trained professionals called the New Mainers Resource Center. Most of the students have experience from their home countries that they're bringing here, so our role in our classes is to teach people about U.S workplace culture, our job search strategies, because it's different here than in other places, but also to help our students think about all of the skills they bring and some positions that they could find here that will take advantage of those skills. One of the specialized training programs here is the Education Academy, an intensive course for people who want to learn about the U.S. education system. As the students are moving through the classes, they are doing their practicum experience within classrooms at all levels. They give us a method of teaching, how to write, plan for the lessons, you know, different things. Haider Shihab moved here from Iraq three years ago. Christine Manegabe emigrated from the Democratic Republic of Congo a year earlier. Both of them worked as educators back home and are looking to do that here as well. I'm hopeful and uh, I'm comfortable because I have experience. Both aspiring educators spent the summer in a classroom, shadowing teachers. Next, they hope to start working as education technicians. My end goal is to become a teacher, uh, get more opportunity to share my experience and learn more and help students reach their goal. A lot of main employers are recognizing the skills that foreign trained people bring. PAE also offers training courses in other fields to help with job placement in manufacturing, at tech companies, and in the medical industry. That's a lot of what we do, is kind of thinking about 
who you are today, what you want to do in the future, where your skills gaps are, and how we can help you kind of move along that path. But even with all this support, the road towards citizenship is still a long one. I've been working here for nearly three years now, and I have yet to meet anyone who has come through this process and um, received asylum. I've met hundreds of people seeking asylum, if not thousands. Carolyn Graney there was referring to asylum seekers whose cases are still unresolved or have not made it to court yet. For asylum seekers whose cases do make it to the immigration court in Boston, the judges there average a 65% asylum approval rate, according to data from Syracuse University. Up next, for those waiting for asylum, hope.